Hello class, this is Ms. Riggins, and today we're going to be talking about local maximum and minimum, or local max and local min for short. Um, before we can start talking about that, we have to understand what it means for a function to be increasing and for a function to be decreasing, and for a function to be constant. Um, and my suggestion is that you print out the notes or copy down the notes because the, those definitions will come in handy a little bit later. But let's talk about if you have any type of function, if you have the graph of the function, it's easy to identify if the function is increasing or decreasing. As you can see with this example, we have uh, actually a piecewise function. It's part absolute value, part linear part um, quadratic and part linear again and so here we have an example of a piecewise function but in, in different areas it's increasing and it's decreasing so as you can see here the area is decreasing I mean in increasing in these two areas so we say that a function is increasing on an interval when we identify the x values for which the function values are increasing so in this case, for this example, this interval, it looks like it's going all the way down from negative infinity to the x-axis all the way up to negative 2 is when it's increasing. So we call this interval, open parentheses for um, negative infinity, and it actually stops increasing at negative 2. Oops. So I'm going to do a close bracket to let me know that includes that. Now sometimes you'll see it as a closed bracket or an open bracket, but uh, I'm not going to be particular about that. Where else is it increasing? Well, it's also increasing over here. So that means it's increasing on this interval. And where does it start increasing at? It starts increasing at 2. So I do open bracket or closed bracket, I mean open parentheses or closed bracket at 2, open bracket, it doesn't matter. And then it goes all the way up into 4. And I can either again do close bracket or close parentheses. It really doesn't matter. So for this class, we're just going to deal with brackets. I mean parentheses and call it a day. So in this case, my function is increasing from negative infinity to negative 2. And it's decreasing on the interval from 2 to 4. And that means any number for x that's in between 2 and 4 and any interval for x, any number x that's in between negative infinity and negative 2, if I evaluate the function at f, it's going to be constantly increasing. Okay? So then to identify where the graph is decreasing, we look to see where the graph is, of course, decreasing. So it's decreasing here and it's decreasing here. So that means our um, interval that it's decreasing in, I'm going to write it in a different color. So you can see where it's decreasing. I'm going to use blue just to be uh, consistent. So it's decreasing starting at negative 2 when x is negative 2. And then it's decreasing all the way until you get to x being negative 1. So it's decreasing there. And then over here, we see that it's decreasing starting at 4. Let me change back the color. I want to be consistent is decreasing all the way from positive 4 to positive infinity. Okay? Now when is the graph constant? Well the graph is constant as you can see where the function values are not changing and that occurs right here. So we can say that the function is constant on the following interval. It's on the interval uh, let me do this one. It's constant from on the interval from negative 1 all the way up to positive 2. Okay? So, that's what it means to be increasing and decreasing and constant on intervals. And so, just to say that the graph is increasing, you have to be able to identify where it's increasing. In other words, what functions of x will produce f values that are constantly increasing? And what values of x will produce x values that are con f of x values that are decreasing and vice versa? So once you know where a graph starts increasing to decreasing, it turns. And that point is called a turning point, if you remember. So in this case, we have several turning points. We have this turning point because here it's going from increasing to decreasing. 
This is a turning point. It's going from decreasing to constant. This is a turning point. It's going from constant to increasing. And this is a turning point. And it's going from increasing to decreasing. Well, some of the turning points are called either local max or local min. So in this case, local means it's in this area. It is the largest value. So this is the local max. And we'll type that in. This is the local max. As you can see, because this is where the function is going from increasing to the left to decreasing to the right. And another local max is over here this turning point when, as you can see, the function is going from increasing to all of a sudden decreasing. So this, in this case, the local max, this local max occurs when x is negative 2. And this local max occurs when x is, oops, let me move this up so you can be on there. Hold on, I'm going to move this up. Oops. This local max occurs when x is 4. So we have two local max in this graph. One when x is negative 2 and one when x is 4. And so these are the two different ways you'll see a local max written in our identify. Local max at negative 2 and a local max at x equals 4. It means the exact same thing. And in this case, we also have what's called a local min. So to identify the local min, instead of to see the turning point where the graph is going from increasing to decreasing, we're looking for when the graph is going from decreasing to increasing. And unfortunately, in this case, we don't have anything on the graph where it's going from decreasing to increasing. We have where it's going from decreasing to constant, but in this case, we don't have any local min. It has to be going from decreasing to increasing for it to be a local min. So my suggestion is you draw this picture on page 116 and identify for yourself the local maxes and the where the function is increasing and decreasing in constant. Now let's take a look at another function. And actually, this is a polynomial function, no more piecewise function. And this function, as you can see, has both local max and local min. As you can see here, the function is increasing and then going to decreasing. So this is my local max. But here it's going from decreasing to increasing. So here's my local min. Here's another local max because it changed. Here's a turning point from increasing to decreasing. And here's a turning point from decreasing to increasing. So that's another local min. And over here we have a local max. So if you have a graph, it's easy to identify the local max and the local min. And um, in calculus is when you actually determine at what value that is if you don't have a graph, but we're not going to go there. So what you're going to be asked to do for the assessment is to identify the local max and local min um, and the increasing intervals and decreasing intervals of a graph. And I know you're saying I don't have a graphing calculator, but I'm going to show you an online tool where you can graph a function so that you'll be able to identify the local max and the local min. Okay, we're back, and I've opened up a browser, and that browser and located the online graphing utility. It's called www.desmos.com slash calculator. And if you have internet access, you should be able to use it to graph your function. So over here to the left is where we're going to input our function. And it's very easy to input the function. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm going to type in just a random function, f of x is equal to, um, I'm just coming up with any numbers, 0.2x. And I'm going to use the uh, caret button, which is shift and 6 to get to the power uh, power button uh, minus, I don't know, I'm just coming up with numbers, third plus, I don't know, one, x. And again, I'm using the power by doing shift and F2 plus 4x. Oops. Oops. Okay, let's try that again. Plus 4x minus 2. Okay, 
So when I type it, as I'm typing it, you can't see it, but if you were typing, you see where the graph would be forming to the right, and I press enter. Now if I move the view over here to the right, I see that it is graph the function. And can you identify where the, if it has any local max and min, and it does. You can see it has a local min here, and it has a local max here. Okay, what would happen if I were to go back and change this graph to instead of a degree 5 polynomial, a degree 4? Press enter, and let me move it up, so I'm going to add, I don't know, yeah, plus 2. And as you can see over here, it's, um, now we have a local min, and the, here the x value is at negative 1.35. And we have a local max here at 1.53. So the great thing about Desmos is it will show you where the local max and min is. If you um, hover your um, mouse over uh, a region close to the local max and local min. Okay, so you can use that to answer your assessment questions. Thanks, bye.